Presidential aspirant Moise Katumbi was in the eastern Congolese city of Goma on Thursday. And with the region suffering spiralling militia violence, security was unsurprisingly in focus. Katumbi, hoping to unseat incumbent President Felix Tshisekedi in the December 20th poll, told Goma residents that he would not abandon them. I promise not to touch my salary, not even a single day, until North Kivu and Ituri are liberated. Without the liberation of North Kivu and Ituri, there is no DRC. We are all one people and we will not cede a single centimetre of our land to anyone. Security is one of several issues that will be on voters' minds when they head to the ballot boxes. After a civil war that ended at the turn of the century, rival armed militia groups continue to fight over land and resources in Democratic Republic of Congo's mineral-rich east. Last year, the M23 rebel group staged a major comeback, seizing towns and villages as it advanced to the outskirts of Goma. Tise Kedi has called for the removal of the UN peacekeeping mission as well as of an East African regional force deployed last year, amid accusations that they have been ineffective in dealing with the rebels. We shall tackle that problem once and for all. It is a very small issue. Am I clear? We are the fearless children of Goma. We shall finish it, and it shall not take us long. Katumbi is one of more than two dozen candidates in the presidential race. Three contenders, however, have dropped their bids to back Katumbi, following discussions among leading opposition parties about uniting behind a potential joint candidate.